friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will discuss concept of keyword intent when someone types in a search query into google they expect to find an answer to their problem quickly google has made it their business to provide the best answer to their query in the shortest time possible to answer a query google needs to understand what a user may actually be looking for and provide a list of web pages it thinks best answer the query every search query has an intent behind it it's very important that you consider the intent behind every keyword you target if a page does not satisfy the keyword intent google will not rank the page high in the serps you might have a very helpful article extremely well written with lots of images charts videos and everything else you might have spent hundreds of dollars and several days crafting the content the page might have some really powerful links but if the content does not match keyword intent the page will not rank it might rank at the top briefly until google discovers the page is not answering the question users are seeking answers for and then the page will drop like a stone and stay at the bottom google constantly keeps track of user behavior it can know when user are not satisfied with the page and google will not keep such page, pages ranking high in the serps so it's very important you spend some time understanding what a user may be looking for when they type a query into google and do your best to ensure your page content matches keyword intent so we will discuss keyword intent with example let's consider the phrase home insurance quotes someone searching for home insurance quotes is looking for the best deal on home insurance and expect google to help them find a very good deal that would be the intent behind the query to get a good deal on home insurance but you would not want to reach a conclusion just by looking at the phrase you would also want to take a look at the top search results in google if we go to google and search for home insurance quotes we can learn a lot about keyword intent just by reading the titles of the pages and looking at the top of the serps this result from gaico is fast and free home insurance quotes there are other results with the word free in their titles this one says compare home insurance quotes in addition you would also want to look at this section people also ask google in telling us questions it thinks are very relevant to this query all these are questions google expects to be see answered on a page that ranks for this query if you scroll to the bottom of the page there are related search section you can further refine your understanding of keyword intent by looking at these related searches now we have enough information to write a small paragraph or two that clearly states the intent behind the search query home insurance quotes this is what we have gleaned so far people who are searching people who are searching for home insurance quotes want to compare several quotes and they want to get the quotes fast and very they want to get them for free in addition they want to know who has the best home insurance how much they might have to pay which home insurance company is the cheapest and whether you can just get only fire insurance by following this process you can get a fairly clear idea of what the keyword intent is once they have done this for your main keywords you will be able to craft content that answers these questions and gives people exactly what they are looking for so moving on to the next example for some keyword phrases figuring out keyword 
intent may be pretty hard concept consider this keyword french toast recipe if we type here french toast recipe and see what google gives us there are several kinds of french toasts so you wouldn't know which one you should write about let's take a look at the top results in google this one is about brioche french toast recipe other keywords we can gather from scanning the titles of the top pages are like easy best classic quick and easy let's look at the related search section it gives us cinnamon with flour unique no milk with vanilla etc so what's happening here is that there are several kinds of french toast recipes that people are looking for though the top results is for brioche french toast recipe there is still some ambiguity in cases like these so you would want to use it eh refs to remove the ambiguity if you go to ahrefs keyword explorer and run a search for a french toast recipe you would see at the bottom of the page that graph search position history for french toast recipe from this graph you can see the top 3 results have been pretty stable for the past 6 months which essentially means the top 3 results have content that matches keyword intent very well had it not been the case there would not have been able to stay at the top for this long google would have dropped these results a long time ago and replaced them with other pages that matched keyword intent better so you can also see there is a bit of fluctuation from position 4 onward so this is telling us what if we were to create a page about french toast recipe it should be modeled after the top 3 results looking at the titles of the top 3 results we can see that our title needs to talk about quick and easy brioche french toast recipe this does not need to be the exact title but this is the message that title needs to convey thanks for watching and keep watching my channel for more informational videos